One of the most powerful concepts that you're ever going to understand and apply to grow your wealth and to become a future millionaire is really understanding the applications of compound interest. I know that a lot of people have heard about compound interest. They heard about it at school and maybe in the, in the university degree, but majority of people have not fully comprehended the application of compound interest and how powerful it is. When I run my wealth seminars, I sometimes ask the audience a trick question. And the question is simply this. If I gave you two choices, choice one, you could take a million dollars today and that money will never grow for the rest of your life. But that money, you can take that million dollars and it's guaranteed yours and you can walk away with it. Or option two, I give you one cent, but I allowed that one cent to double every day for the next 31 days. Which option would you take and why? Now, majority of people can tell that it's obviously a trick question. But, and sometimes people will say, I'll take the one cent option. Now, they're only saying that. They actually don't understand why they would take the one cent option. I believe that if people were to be confronted with these two options, most would actually take the million dollars because the face value of the million dollars is evident. However, a lot of people would not be able to see that if they did take the one cent option and allowed that money to double every day for the next 31 days, that on the 31st day, that money would be worth 10.7 million. Now, that's not the main part though. The main part about this is that if, let's just say, you were not a mathematically inclined person and you decided that you were going to go with option two, where you would say, hey, I'm happy with the one cent option as long as it doubles for the next 31 days, I'll say no to the million dollars, I'll take this option instead, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to regret your decision. If you're not mathematically inclined and you don't understand the applications of compound interest. Why? Well, it's because if you did take the one cent option and you allowed that money to double every day for the next 31 days, on the 26th day, the money's only worth $337,000 approximately. So there's a pretty good chance that if you didn't understand how compounding works, you're very likely to regret your decision and maybe pull the plug on your decision because you might determine that here I am on the 26th or 27th day and my money is only worth $337,000 and you might put the plug on the whole thing. And, we, and this happens all the time. We see it happening all the time because if you look at in the country that I live in, in Australia, the average holding time for stocks and shares is about 3.2 years and the average holding time for residential property is about five years. Meaning that most investors obviously get impatient because they, when they do not see an adequate return on their investment, they determine it's not working and they end up selling. Now, this is a huge mistake because a lot of people cannot understand and cannot tell what the value of that investment will be at a given rate of return over 7, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And really, wealth is actually built over 15 to 30 years, substantial wealth. But unfortunately, a lot of people are very short-term orientated, so they will, under, they will actually end up reversing and withdrawing their decision because they determine that it's not working. But this is really, really crucial for you to understand that with compound interest, you have to understand that it's a snowball effect. When you roll a snowball down the hill, in the beginning, it doesn't grow much. Once it gets to the middle of the hill, you'll start to see it picking up some really good momentum. But it's only when it gets three quarters of the way down, it grows in such fast and big increments that your imagination can literally not put up with it. So I want you to understand the importance of compound interest and ask yourself the question, do you understand how you can now take this important, very important concept and apply it to your investing? As long as you've bought your investments well and your investments are supporting your plan, you need to allow time for compounding to take its course because it's through compounding that wealth is created.